Well, hello, all my friends. Welcome back or welcome to the channel. If you're joining us for the first time, welcome. My name is T. And today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to make holiday pop holders and oven mitts using these materials here. First, we're going to start by washing and preparing our fabric and that preparation also includes pressing the fabric. Be sure you press the fabric. You're going to go ahead and trace the pattern using an oven mitt. It can be inexpensive from a local shop or you can grab one from your kitchen. You also wanna make sure that you add a half an inch seam allowance into the pattern because we're going to be wearing this. So as you can see here, I added seam allowance to the side of the oven mitt, but I did not add seam allowance to the top of the oven mitt. And that's because we are going to add bias binding up there and we don't need um, seam allowance. So you're just gonna go ahead and cut out your pattern, set that to the side. And now you're going to do the same thing for the pot holder that you did with the oven mitt. Just make sure that you have really nice smooth lines and then go ahead and cut that pattern out. And after you cut that pattern out, we're gonna go ahead and we're going to cut out our fabric and make sure that your fabric is 100% cotton because this is best for working with oven mitts and pot holders and they wash really easy. You can go ahead and double your fabric or quadruple your fabric if you want to save on cutting time. That's what I did right here. So you're going to also cut out your pot holder as well. And after trimming and cutting out all your pieces, you should have two pot holders, unless you want to make um, two completed versions of a pot holder, you only need two pieces of fabric. But if you want to make two completed versions of the pot holder, then you would need four. The next step is you're going to go ahead and cut out um, your res heat resistant cover pad and you only need two for the pot holders. I'm sorry, you only need two for the oven mitt and one for the pot holder. Now this pad um, I bought at Joanne Fabrics. It's really nice and like I said, it's heat resistant and it's really great for things like ironing board covers and pot holders and oven mitts because it's heat resistant. Next, you're going to go ahead and you're going to place your fabric on top of the heat resistant pad. You want to sandwich the, the, the um, heat resistant pad in between two of the fabrics that you have here. And then you're going to go ahead and pin them together and you're going to base that together. You're going to do the same thing for your oven mitt. You're going to take two pieces of your uh, oven mitts and you're going to put place them on top of the heat resistant cover pad and you're going to pin those down in place and you're going to base those as well you're going to base those together the second set of the oven mitt fabrics is going to be used for your lining. So just make sure that you take that second set and with right sides facing, you're going to stitch them together at about a half of an inch and you're going to trim away um, the excess fabric. So you're gonna trim it back about a quarter of an inch. But before we do that, we're gonna go ahead and take the quilted part of the oven mitts and we're gonna take these to the machine and we're going to base them together. Now here's a tip and a side note. If you want to have a quilted oven mitt and pot holder, you can do that by following the pre-quilted uh, heat resistant cover stitches on the back or you can draw your own. Now I'll show you how to draw your own, but I just wanna say it is easier to just follow the pre-quilted uh, stitch lines because you don't have to do the step here. But if you do want to draw your own on your pad, all you need to do is make sure that you have even spaces um, when you are making diagonal lines on your uh, fabric cover. So all you have to do is, I think mine's is like a half an inch apart, and then you just go ahead and you stitch those lines in place. Now next we're going to go ahead and we're going to um, stitch our oven mitt together as well as our lining and we're going to go ahead and trim off 
the excess fabric. We're going to trim that back by about a quarter of an inch. We're going to turn that out and we're going to um, press that down. And after you turn that out and press that down, you're going to go ahead and put your lining inside of the oven mitt like this. And you're going to go ahead and pin that together and set that to the side. We're going to apply bias tape on the edge of the oven mitt here in a minute. But first, we're going to go ahead and base the pot, the pot holder in place as well. So now that we have our pot holder and our oven mitts all together, we can apply the bias binding. Now the bias binding is probably the most easiest but also necessary step. First, you're going to go ahead and you're going to turn the edge of your bias binding over by a quarter of an inch to hide those raw edges. And then you're going to go ahead and sew your bias binding in place following the creased line. After that, you're going to go ahead and overlap the end and stitch that in place. And you're going to, right here, I'm showing you how you're going to encase that raw edge and you're going to flip your bias binding to the underside and press so that you can stitch it together. You're going to do the same thing for the oven mitt as well. You're going to go ahead and stitch that in place, but make sure that you have that raw edge flipped in about a quarter of an inch. And you're just gonna go ahead and take that to the machine and you're going to baste that together. And the very end of the, of the uh, bias binding here, you're just going to overlap that over the underside and stitch that in place. You're going to go ahead and flip that over as well. And you're going to press that in place, press the oven mitt as well. And you're going to go ahead and take that to the machine and you're going to stitch it in place. So now that we have the bias binding on the oven mitt and the pot holder, we can go ahead and put the tab on. But before we do that, I just want to make mention real quickly that when you're top stitching the bias binding on the oven mitt and the carrier, make sure that you catch the underside here. You wanna make sure that the underside is being stitched as well so that everything is sandwiched in, inside the bias binding and it is nice and neat. In order to make the tabs, you're going to cut an eight and a half by two inch wide strip of fabric. You're going to fold that fabric in half and you're going to stitch that down with a quarter of an inch seam allowance. You're going to turn the fabric out and you should have something that looks like this. So now that the tab is sewn together, we can fold that in half and we're going to go ahead and cut that down the middle so that we have two tabs, one for the pot holder and one for the oven mitt. So I like to use my pinking shears because it gives the fabric a nice finished edge and it helps the fabric from fraying. So I do that to both ends of the tabs. After you do that, you're going to go ahead and fold your tab pieces over by a quarter of an inch on each side, press it in place, and attach to the pot holder and the oven mitt. Sew that down and you are done. So here are my finished looks. I hope you enjoyed this video and that it was helpful. If it was, please give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell for all my videos when I post them. All right, thank you for, so much for watching and for stopping by. And until next time, everyone, stay creative. Bye.